Hello everyone. The present video introduces non-homogeneous linear system of equations and explains the matrix rank conditions that characterize the consistency of the system. In particular, we will see how to identify the system that are consistent with unique solution, consistent with infinitely many solutions, and inconsistent. Further, some examples are provided for which we also determine their solution if they are consistent. Consider M equations a11x1 plus a12x2 plus etc. a1nxn equals b1, a21x1 plus a22x2 plus etc. a2nxn equals b2, am1x1 plus am2x2 plus etc. amnxn equals bm, in which it is given the coefficients a, i, j are the elements of a field f, the variables x1, x2 up to xn are unknowns but take the values from a field f, b1, b2 up to bm are also the given elements from a field f such that at least one of bi is non-zero. Let us denote the system of these equations by s. Such a system is called a non-homogeneous linear system of m equations in n unknowns over the field f. Further, for convenience, we will take the field F to be either the set of all real numbers or set of all complex numbers. Our objective is to determine the solution to the system S if exists. To this end, the solution to the system S means the values of variables x1, x2 up to xn in the field F that satisfy the system S. Since every equation in the system S represents a plane surface in the space Fn, so geometrically this means we are interested in finding the point of intersection of all these m planes in the space Fn. Such planes may intersect at unique point in the space Fn, may intersect at infinitely many points in the space Fn, or may not intersect at all. Consider the homogeneous case of the system S, that is, all bi equals 0. Under this case, it is obvious that the m planes will intersect at least at a zero point as through the origin of the space Fn all these planes pass. To understand this, consider an example of the homogeneous system S1 with the two equations in a two variables, 2x1 plus 3x2 equals 0, x1 minus x2 equals 0 over the real field. When you draw the graph of these equations in R2, they represent straight lines passing through the origin of R2. Hence, 0, 0 is a solution to the system S1. Therefore, at any cost, the homogeneous system of equations will always have a zero solution. However, in general, the homogeneous system of equations may pose infinitely many solutions in the field. Here are some examples of homogeneous systems that poses infinitely many solutions over their field. The system S2 given by x1 plus 3x2 equals 0, 4x1 plus 12x2 equals 0 over the real field. The system S3 given by 2x1 plus 3x2 plus x3 equals 0, x1 minus x2 plus 4x3 equals 0 over the real field. The system S4 given by x1 plus x2 minus x3 equals 0, x1 minus 3x2 plus 4x3 equals 0 over the real field. The geometrical difference between homogeneous and non-homogeneous system of equations is that the non-homogeneous system never poses a zero solution because at least one of the m planes does not pass through the origin of the space Fn. Now, to find the conditions that characterize the existence of solution to the non-homogeneous system, we convert the system S in matrix vector form. Let us denote the coefficient matrix of the system S as A. Then A represents an M cross N matrix with entries A11, A12, A13, etc., A1N, 
a21 a22 a23 etc a2n am1 am2 am3 etc amn unknown vector of the system s is an n cross on vector vector x defined to be the vector with the entries x1 x2 x3 etc xn and the vector of right hand side elements is an m cross on vector b with entries b1 b2 etc bm with this the matrix vector form of the system s will become ax is equals to b there are three possibilities about the solution to the system s system s have unique solution in the field f we find only if rank of the matrix a equals rank of the augmented matrix a comma b equals n system s have infinitely many solutions in the field f we find only if rank of the matrix a equals rank of the augmented matrix a comma b less than n system s have no solution in the field f we find only if rank of the matrix a is less than rank of augmented matrix a comma b here is the first example of a consistent system that poses unique solution 3x1 plus x2 equals 3 x1 plus 2x2 equals 4 let us denote this system as s5 you can also observe the graph of these two equations drawn in r2 that represents straight lines the matrix vector form of the system s5 is ax is equals to b where a is a 2 cross 2 matrix with entries 3 1 1 2 x is a 2 cross 1 vector with entries x1 x2 and b is also a 2 cross 1 vector with entries 3 4 let us apply the elementary row operations over the matrix a r2 implies r2 minus 1 by 3 r1 gives a matrix with entries 3 1 0 5 by 3 Again applying the elementary row operations, R1 implies 1 by 3 R1, R2 implies 3 by 5 R2 that gives a matrix with entries 1, 1 by 3, 0, 1. This shows the rank of the matrix A equals 2 as the row echelon form of the matrix A has two non-zero rows. With the same elementary row operations, the augmented matrix A comma B reduces to a matrix with entries 1, 1 by 3, 1, 0, 1, 9 by 5. This shows the rank of the augmented matrix is 2. Therefore, rank of the matrix A equals rank of the augmented matrix A comma B equals 2 and that equals the number of variables. Therefore, the system S5 possesses a unique solution in the real number set. Geometrically, the two lines will intersect at a unique point in R2. Now, let us determine the solution to the system S5. The transformed system of the system S5 after reducing the augmented matrix A, B into row echelon form is x1 plus 1 by 3 x2 equals 1, x2 equals 9 by 5. Geometrically, this means we rotated the second line about the solution point so that it become parallel to the x1 axis. This gives the solution to the system S5 as x1 equals 2 by 5, x2 equals 9 by 5. That means the two lines given in R2 will intersect only at one point having the coordinates 2 by 5 and 9 by 5. Here is another example of a consistent system that poses unique solution. x1 plus x2 plus x3 equals 9, 2x1 minus 3x2 plus 4x3 equals 13, 3x1 plus 4x2 plus 5x3 equals 40 defined over the real field. Let us denote this system as S6. The matrix vector form of the system S6 is Ax is equals to B where A is a 3 by 3 matrix with entries 1, 1, 1, 2, minus 3, 4, 3, 4, 5. X is a 3 cross 1 vector with entries 
x1, x2, x3 and b is also a 3 cross 1 vector with entries 9, 13 and 40. Let us apply the elementary row operations over the matrix A so that it reduces into a row echelon form. R2 implies R2 minus 2 R1, R3 implies R3 minus 3 R1 gives a matrix with entries 1, 1, 1, 0, minus 5, 2, 0, 1, 2. Now applying the elementary row operation, R3 implies R3 plus 1 by 5 R2 gives a matrix with entries 1, 1, 1, 0, minus 5, 2, 0, 0, 12 by 5. Now finally applying the elementary row operations, R2 implies minus 1 by 5 R2, R3 implies 5 by 12 R3 gives a matrix with entries 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, minus 2 by 5, 0, 0, 1. This is in row echelon form. This shows the rank of the matrix A equals 3 because the row echelon form of the matrix A has 3 non-zero rows. With the same elementary row operations, the augmented matrix A, B reduces to a matrix with entries 1, 1, 1, 9, 0, 1, minus 2 by 5, 1, 0, 0, 1, 5. This is in a row echelon form. This shows the rank of the augmented matrix A, B equals 3. Therefore, we have rank of the matrix A equals rank of the augmented matrix A comma B equals 3 and that equals the number of variables. Therefore, the system S6 possesses a unique solution in the real number set. Geometrically, the three planes in R3 will intersect at unique point in R3. Now let us find out the solution to the system S6. The transformed system of the system S6 corresponding to the row echelon form of the augmented matrix is x1 plus x2 plus x3 equals 9, x2 minus 2 by 5 x3 equals 1 and x3 equals 5. Basically, we rotated the third plane about the solution point so that it become parallel to x1 x2 plane and we have rotated the second plane about the solution point so that it become parallel to x1 axis. This gives the solution to the system S6 as x1 equals 1, x2 equals 3, and x3 equals 5. That means the given three planes in the system S6 will intersect at only one point in R3 having the coordinates 1, 3, and 5. Here is an example of a consistent system that poses infinitely many solutions. 3x1 plus x2 equals 3, 6x1 plus 2x2 equals 6 defined over the real field. Let us denote this system as S7. The matrix vector form of the system S7 is Ax is equals to b, where A is a 2 by 2 matrix with entries 3, 1, 6, 2. X is a 2 cross 1 vector with entries x1, x2 and b is also a 2 cross 1 vector with entries 3 and 6. Let us determine the rank of the matrix A by reducing A into row echelon form. For this, we are applying elementary row operations on the matrix A. R2 implies R2 minus 2 R1 gives a matrix with entries 3, 1, 0, 0 and by applying the elementary row operation, R1 implies 1 by 3 R1 gives a matrix with entries 1, 1 by 3, 0, 0. This is the row echelon form of the matrix A. As it has only one non-zero row, therefore the rank of the matrix A equals 1. You can also observe the graph of the two lines considered in the system S7 drawn in R2. Both the lines are overlapping on one another. With the same elementary row operations, the augmented matrix A, B reduces to a matrix with entries 1, 1 by 3, 1, 0, 0, 0. This is the row echelon form of the augmented matrix. As it has only one non-zero row, therefore the rank of the augmented matrix A, B equals 1. 
therefore we have rank of the matrix a equals rank of the augmented matrix a comma b equals 1 that is less than 2 which is the number of variables in the system s7 therefore the system s7 possesses infinitely many solutions in the real number set Geometrically, the two lines considered in the system S7 will have infinitely many points of intersections in R2. Now, let us determine the solution to the system S7. The transformed system of the system S7 corresponding to the row equivalent form of the augmented matrix is x1 plus 1 by 3x2 equals 1. Since n minus rank of matrix A equals 1, so one variable assumes any real number solution. For example, say x2 equals k. And this gives x1 is equals to 3 minus k divided by 3. Hence, the lines will intersect at infinitely many points having the coordinates of the form 3 minus k by 3 and k in the space R2. In other words, every point on the line 3x1 plus x2 equals 3 is a solution to the system S7. Here is another example of a consistent system that poses infinitely many solutions. Minus x1 plus 3x2 minus 2x3 equals 4. Minus x1 plus 4x2 minus 3x3 equals 5. Minus x1 plus 5x2 minus 4x3 equals 6 defined over the real field. Let us denote this system as S8. The matrix vector form of the system S8 is Ax is equals to B, where A is a 3 by 3 matrix with entries minus 1, 3, minus 2, minus 1, 4, minus 3, minus 1, 5, minus 4. X is a 3 cross 1 vector with entries x1, x2, and x3. B is also a 3 cross 1 vector with entries 4, 4, and 6. Now let us determine the rank of the matrix A by reducing the matrix A into row equivalent form. For this, we apply the elementary row operations on the matrix A. R2 implies R2 minus R1 and R3 implies R3 minus R1 gives a matrix with entries minus 1, 3, minus 2, 0, 1, minus 1, 0, 2, minus 2. Now by applying the elementary row operation, R3 implies R3 minus 2R2 gives a matrix with entries minus 1, 3, minus 2, 0, 1, minus 1, 0, 0, and 0. Now, finally applying the elementary row operation, R1 implies minus R1 gives a matrix with entries 1, minus 3, 2, 0, 1, minus 1, 0, 0, and 0. This is the row equivalent form of the matrix A. As it has only two non-zero rows, therefore the rank of the matrix A equals 2. With the same elementary row operations, the augmented matrix A, comma B reduces to a matrix with entries 1, minus 3, 2, 4, 0, 1, minus 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, and 0. This is the row equivalent form of the augmented matrix. This also has only two non-zero rows, therefore the rank of the augmented matrix A, B equals 2. Therefore, rank of matrix A equals rank of augmented matrix A, B equals 2, which is less than 3, the number of variables in the system S8. Therefore, the system S8 possesses infinitely many solutions in the real number set. Geometrically, the given planes in the system S8 will have infinitely many points of intersections in R3. Now let us determine the form of solution to the system S8. The transformed system of the system S8 corresponding to the row echelon form of the augmented matrix is x1 minus 3x2 plus 2x3 equals 4 and x2 minus x3 equals 1. Since n minus rank of matrix A equals 1, so one variable assumes any real number solution, say x3 equals k. This gives x2 is equals to 1 plus k and x1 equals 7 plus k. 
Therefore, the planes in the system S8 will intersect at infinitely many points having the coordinates 7 plus k, 1 plus k and k in the space R3. Here is an example of an inconsistent system. 3x1 plus x2 equals 3, 6x1 plus 2x2 equals 3 defined over the real field. Let us denote this system as S9. So the matrix vector form of the system S9 is Ax is equals to b, where A is a 2 by 2 matrix with entries 3, 1, 6, 2. X is a 2 cross 1 vector with entries x1, x2 and b is also a 2 cross 1 vector with entries 3, 3. Let us determine the rank of the matrix A by reducing A into row echelon form. For this, we are applying the elementary row operations on the matrix A. R2 implies R2 minus 2 R1 gives a matrix with entries 3, 1, 0, 0 and by applying the elementary row operation, R1 implies 1 by 3 R1 gives a matrix with entries 1, 1 by 3, 0, 0. This is the row echelon form of the matrix A which has only one non-zero row. Therefore, the rank of the matrix A equals 1. You can also see the graph of the two lines considered in the system S9. Both the lines are parallel to each other in the space R2. With the same elementary row operations, the augment matrix A, B becomes a matrix with entries 1, 1 by 3, 1, 0, 0, minus 3. Now by applying the elementary row operation, R2 implies minus 1 by 3 into R2 gives a matrix with entries 1, 1 by 3, 1, 0, 0, 1. This is the row echelon form of the augmented matrix. As this has two non-zero rows, therefore the rank of the augmented matrix A, B equals 2. Therefore, we have rank of matrix A equals 1, which is less than 2, the rank of the augmented matrix A, B. Therefore, the system S9 does not have any solution in the real number set. Geometrically, the two lines considered in the system S9 do not have any point of intersection in R2. Here is another example of an inconsistent system. Minus x1 plus 3x2 minus 2x3 equals 4. Minus x1 plus 4x2 minus 3x3 equals 5. Minus x1 plus 5x2 minus 4x3 equals 1 defined over the real number set. Let us denote this system as S10. The matrix vector form of the system S10 is Ax is equals to b, where A is a 3 by 3 matrix with entries minus 1, 3, minus 2, minus 1, 4, minus 3, minus 1, 5, minus 4. X is a 3 cross 1 vector with entries x1, x2, x3, and B is also a 3 cross 1 vector with entries 4, 5, and 1. Let us determine the rank of the matrix A by reducing A into row echelon form. For this, we are applying elementary row operations. R2 implies R2 minus R1. R3 implies R3 minus R1 gives a matrix with entries minus 1, 3, minus 2, 0, 1, minus 1, 0, 2, minus 2. Now by applying the elementary row operation, R3 implies R3 minus 2 R2 gives a matrix with entries minus 1, 3, minus 2, 0, 1, minus 1, 0, 0, 0. Finally, applying the elementary row operation, R1 implies minus R1 gives a matrix with entries 1, minus 3, 2, 0, 1, minus 1, 0, 0, 0. This is the row echelon form of the matrix A. As this has two non-zero rows, therefore the rank of the matrix A equals 2. 
With the same elementary row operations, the augmented matrix A, B reduces to a matrix with entries 1, minus 3, 2, 4, 0, 1, minus 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, minus 5. Finally, by applying the elementary row operation, R3 implies minus 1 by 5 R3 gives a matrix with entries 1, minus 3, 2, 4, 0, 1, minus 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. This is the row echelon form of the matrix A, B. As this augmented matrix has three non-zero rows, therefore the rank of the augmented matrix A, B equals 3. Hence we have rank of matrix A equals 2, which is less than 3, the rank of augmented matrix. Therefore the system S10 does not have any solution in the real number set. Geometrically, the three planes considered in the system S10 do not have a common point of intersection in R3. Unlike the homogeneous linear system of equations, which always have at least one solution, that is the zero solution, the non-homogeneous linear system of equations may or may not have the solution. The existence of the solution to the non-homogeneous linear system of equations ax is equal to b in the space fn depend on the following two conditions. Rank of matrix A equals rank of augmented matrix A comma b equals n in which case the system poses a unique solution in the space fn. Rank of matrix A equals rank of augmented matrix A comma b less than n in which the system poses infinitely many solutions in the space Fn. Non-homogeneous linear system of equations possesses no solution in the space Fn if find only if rank of the matrix A is less than rank of the augmented matrix A comma B.